what is going on everybody clickwood here back again bringing you guys some more madden 16 ultimate team content today guys we've got a head-to-head -head seasons game playing against a guy who has mostly an all elite team but definitely my roster is better than his so we should be able to outdo him hopefully if our stick skills are even close our players should be able to outperform him so hopefully we can walk away with the win here we did get the shutout victory in the first game got that punt return touchdown on uh, after the safety that was a pretty cool ending to that game if you guys didn't see it check that one out it will be linked at the end of today's video uh but anyway we did get a good game here on first down and then the second play of the game i probably could have broken that pass for a huge gain but I did not realize that he was not actually going to get contacted there. I was trying to avoid the big hit and the potential fumble. But Brian Finneran, man, he just completely avoided that guy. I don't know if we got amazing blocking or what. But right here, we are getting amazing blocking with Jaree Archer, who got the start in this game for me at running back. And uh, Terrell Davis is actually going to get in here and score the touchdown. The reason I went with Jaree Archer is because I was just having so many struggles stopping the, the uh, or getting around the edge. Like, I just couldn't do it. I, I couldn't stop the pass rush or the, the edge rush. And, it, and Terrell Davis just wasn't fast enough to get around. And look at this great catch there by my opponent. Nice little snag there. Big gain for him to get a first down. Uh, but yeah, Dre Archer just has more speed, man. And that's, I don't know, it's just what I look for in a running back. I don't know. Terrell Davis is definitely better overall, but you guys let me know. I mean, am I wrong for starting Dre Archer in this game? I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. Maybe it's just a, a one of those placebo effect type of things. And... Um, and I feel like he's performing better. I don't know. But my opponent did decide to punt there. He didn't pick up the first down on third down. So that bring up, brings up now a first down for us after the punt. And Dre Archer gets a big gain there. Do you see that block, by the way? One of my guys went low with like just the most heinous chop block ever. And they didn't call it at all. So that was pretty dirty. But we'll definitely take uh, the huge gain there on first down. So back to Travis Kelsey now here over the middle on third down. Picking up the first down. And it's second and nine here after a short game. Dre Archer, see right there. That's the kind of run that that would not happen with Terrell Davis. So I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. It very well could be that I'm just ridiculous and uh, Terrell Davis would have made that play. But I just don't feel like he would have. Now, fourth and inches. We've got Dre Archer here. And this is where I feel really confident. If we just get one block, he is going to be able to pick up the first down. And in this case, he's actually going to score the touchdown. Dre Archer, his first touchdown of the game, drove us all the way down the field on the first drive. Uh, but then we ended up giving it to Terrell Davis because he got tired. But on this drive, he did score the touchdown. So touchdown for each of our two running backs so far. My opponent back on offense now. Looking pretty good on this drive, but it is now third and four. And he is going to go deep. Or third and three, excuse me. Going deep. And look at that grab, man. Must be nice to get those kind of catches. But the very next play, he tries to go back to it again with a deep pass. And this time, Dominic Rogers cromartie is waiting for him. And we get the interception. Unfortunately, we throw a pick. But look at that luck, man. Hard to get luckier than that. We force the fumble after throwing an absolutely terrible interception. So we're back on offense now. Getting a first down there. Second and 10 here. And look at Dre Archer. He got a little tired there. That's pretty much how I feel with Terrell Davis every single play, though. So, uh, yeah, we did decide to go back here to another pass. And look at Brian Finner breaking tackles, picking up the first down there on third down. And we're going back to another pass here. Joe Horn picking up eight. Brings up now a third and one. And we've got Terrell Davis out there. Let's see if he can get the edge here. He runs into a blocker. And thankfully, he's got enough power to pick up the first down. So, first and ten here. And we're going to look... Find another receiver. Oh, Joe Horn dropping the pass, though, dude. Brutal. You can't drop that. Thankfully, Brian Finner in the very next play catches a pass, breaks a tackle, and he is into the end zone. So we are up 21-0 to zero going into the half. But my opponent's got a chance here to try and put points on the board. But we get the interception right before the end of the half. So that does end the first half. Opening kickoff of the second half. Give a fuck about your feelings. Give a fuck about your Let's go, baby. Huge force fumble by the defense there. The special teams, I guess, in this case. Making a big play for us. Setting us up now with another scoring opportunity. Hey, sometimes, man, this game just wants you to win. Look at the blocking that we're getting. Unbelievable. As we get into the end zone there, another touchdown for Dre Archer. 28 to nothing now. Looking very, very good here as we head into the second half, deeper into the game. Man, we're really looking very good here. Getting good pass rush. And right here, look at this play by the defense. Swatting one away. Roy Williams making a big play. Not allowing the, the deep aggressive catch that time. My opponent's still dinking and dunking. He's not ready to give up quite yet, despite the fact that it's pretty clear he's not going to walk away with the win here. We've played okay, other than the one interception that we had. But man, we have had great luck just like 
that. Look at that, man. He throws it into coverage. It does get tipped in the air, which does leave open the opportunity for a pass to be intercepted. But Rodgers Cromartie gets his second pick on a crazy catch again, just like the first one. Well, not exactly the same, but another crazy catch. And look at this. That leads to another long run by Dre Archer. He is not going to be caught. Dre Archer is the bee's knees, my friends. And that is going to end the game. My opponent did decide to quit. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We're 2-0, looking to make it 3-0 in our next game. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor. Click on that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I would greatly appreciate it, guys. Trying to make that run at the Super Bowl. Got to make up for the fact that we didn't get there last time. So I hope you guys will uh, keep checking out the videos. Thank you so much for all the support. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. Hey guys, if you're enjoying my videos, do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on the right side of your screen right now. Otherwise, you can always check out my previous video by clicking on the left side of the screen. Thank you guys again.